My name is Melissa Zimmerman. I am a family nurse practitioner uh, and a IBCLC, an International Board Certified Lactation Consultants. So in IBCLC, the International Board Certified Lactation Consultants is a uh, certification that uh, acknowledges that you've got advanced training and education and experience in providing care for the uh, breastfeeding family, so taking care of mom and baby with that. So you are required to have continuing education credits as along with, um, so continuing education credits, uh, education classes, uh, college courses, um, and experience uh, working with the breastfeeding family. So St. Peter's has had their baby friendly designation about four years. Um, so it took us a few years to get through all the uh, checks and uh, requirements before we were allowed to have surveyors come to actually uh, survey the facility and go through all our policies, talk to patients, do interviews, figure out everything and make sure we actually qualified to be a baby friendly hospital. The baby friendly hospital designation is given to hospitals that provide evidence-based best practice care to breastfeeding families. So it's all about the 10 steps to successful breastfeeding, getting you off to a good start. So some of what that means is that we have policies in place that make sure we uh, provide that good care based on these best practice research evidence-based guidelines. Uh, we train all our staff in this to make sure they know how to properly care for patients. We do rooming in, meaning we keep mom and baby together. We don't don't separate them unless medically necessary. We don't supplement unless medically necessary or unless it's a request by a parent. If we do need to supplement, we don't use bottles or pacifiers uh, early on in a breastfed baby because that can confuse them and make it harder for them to learn to breastfeed when they're just getting started. So we can supplement with uh, things uh, in instead of a bottle if we need to. So we can do finger feeding, syringe feeding, cup feeding. We can even supplement at the breast if we need to. And if we're going to supplement, ideally the first choice is mom's own milk. So teaching mom how to express her milk if she needs to. Um, we really encourage skin to skin. That's a really important thing for babies. It kind of centers them neurologically and it's that biological instinct. Babies and moms are supposed to be together and close often and early, so we let them nurse on demand, no separation, no time limits. If baby says they're hungry, showing feeding cues or hunger signs, then they're not lying. It's fine to put them to rest and let them nurse. It's part of the normal biological process to get mom's milk coming in earlier um, with that. So the more baby nurses early on, the sooner and the stronger mom's milk will come in. St. Peter's does such a good job supporting breastfeeding families. Uh, in the hospital, they have the infant nutrition nurses who are available for breastfeeding support. They try to round on every mom and baby every day, more if needed if there's a problem. All the nurses have basic training in breastfeeding that are gonna be providing care for women through uh, labor, delivery, um, and that postpartum period after. But the lactation nurses, whether they're a certified lactation counselor or the international board certified lactation consultant, there's always somebody around um, to support you while you're in the hospital. They also have it set up where they can see you back for outpatient follow-up, which has been a great resource for families. If you're still having a hard time when you're going home, you aren't just left on your own. You can come back and get that continued support. So breastfeeding, even in its normal course, can have a lot of kind of bumps in the road or little challenges with it. Um, so women can experience problems with uh, painful uh, nipples or getting baby to latch on which we can normally teach women how to nurse to help correct that if you're having any pain with breastfeeding helping identify if there's a problem a uh, woman can have engorgement where they're really full and that can be pretty painful too even though it's a brief thing when your milk first kind of comes in um, you can get um, infections in the breast called mastitis or just even struggle with a, a plugged milk duct um, which can be kind of troubling and you have to work your way through it for women um, some women have have a low milk supply, some women have a extra big milk supply, um, either have their own problems and challenges and can kind of need a little support trying to figure out how to manage that. Um, for babies, really, they can have lots of issues as well. Some babies have a hard time latching or don't latch to the breast very well. Some have a low weight gain and we need to figure out how to get them uh, nursing better to grow and thrive. Um, babies really can kind of struggle with that if they're sleepy at the breast or having a hard time. Um, there's lots of little issues with it for babies that we can kind of help with and always starting with the beginnings of latching techniques and positioning. Uh, but we can do a lot to kind of support any of the challenges with it. 
Breastfeeding really comes down to it's good for mom, it's good for baby. It's what we call a dose response relationship. So really meaning the more milk a baby gets, the longer they nurse, the better. The longer a mom breastfeeds in her childbearing years, the better it is for her. So for babies, there's a lot of benefits. It has a decreased incidence of ear infections and stomach bugs like diarrhea, uh, less respiratory infections. Um, babies are gonna just do a little better with any illness they have, which can sure help. Um, it's again that uh, dose response relationship, meaning the more of it they get, the better the benefits. Any breast milk still has a protective effect and is beneficial, and that doesn't expire. However, uh, babies are still gonna get sick when they're breastfed. They're just hopefully gonna get less sick less often. Uh, for moms, it still has a lot of benefits. It's gonna help with postpartum bleeding uh, after they deliver. It's gonna help with potentially uh, returning to a pre-pregnant weight and weight loss uh, while breastfeeding because you burn extra calories while you're breastfeeding. Um, it can help with potentially uh, later in life for mom protecting against high blood pressure, diabetes, not to mention uh, breast cancer is huge. The more years you spend breastfeeding, the less risk you have of developing breast cancer, not to mention uterine, ovarian, and endometrial cancers. Um, plus, it's just a biological uh, food that's meant. We're making this food exactly for our baby. It's species specific. We're mammals meant to nurse our babes and our body is making it exactly for um, our babies and what we're supposed to have. So it's really supposed to be convenient. It's free. You don't have to spend money for it. It's always warm. You don't have to prepare it and you never forget it at home.